What you guys got another video on how to update or flash your BIOS on an X570 motherboard. Now, if you go to the manufacturer's website, you can see they do have BIOS and firmware updates available, and you can normally download them here and drop those onto a flash drive and use that method to update your BIOS. But there's a new built-in feature which you can use which allows you to download the BIOS and install it from inside the BIOS, and that's what I'm gonna show you here. But if you do wanna use this method, you can just download it and drop it onto a flash drive like I'm doing here. I'll show you both ways once we get into the BIOS, and uh, it's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So let's go ahead and boot up to our BIOS. Normally to get in the BIOS, you would normally tap F2, or delete key as in my case any of those keys will get me into here once you're in your bias you want to go down to where it says advanced mode click on that and then go up to where it says tools and then from there you can click on the asus easy flash utility now you can do via storage method and this is the method where you would uh, use your flash drive with that BIOS on it, which I've just showed you, and you'd have it plugged into the computer. You'd use it via storage device and select the actual BIOS from in there. It can be zipped or unzipped. It doesn't really matter. And it will start to unpack it and uh, flash your BIOS with the latest version. But we're going to do it via the internet this time around just to show you how you can do it. So click on the internet icon then click next. And from here, you should see DHCP. I'm going to select that and then click Next. Once we get Next, it will take us to the next screen where it's going to download and try to find the BIOS for your motherboard. It's already found the BIOS ready available for us, so it's going to go OK. And it's now going to start downloading that from the ASUS network. Now this hasn't wiped the BIOS just yet, what it's doing it's just downloading it off the internet and this is a real safe foolproof way of downloading the BIOS and the correct BIOS because it's going to download it straight from uh, the motherboard manufacturer and it knows exactly what versions you need. Now this BIOS is outdated, you can see we're running version 406 and this version is 1005. So click yes and this will then start to proceed to flash our BIOS or update our BIOS or upgrade our BIOS or firmware whatever you want to call it it's going to do that for us now why would you want to do this well there's many different reasons why you'd want to flash your BIOS especially with all the new technology that's just been released like your new um, Ryzen processors and also the X570 uh, chipset and motherboards these will all be very new and very buggy. So what you want to do is keep them updated and this will make sure that you'll get the best performance boosts for those motherboards. And also it will fix a lot of known bugs for different motherboard manufacturers. This is not just for Asus. This will be for Gigabyte, MSI, ASRock, all the other big manufacturers that make motherboards. They normally, when they first release a product, especially like the uh, X570, uh, chipset what will normally happen is they will start to release a lot of BIOSes to fix a lot of known bugs uh, with those hardware now obviously these work in tandem with your hardware in your computer especially the CPU and if you've got maybe temp issues or you've got uh, you know spontaneous crashing or something like that bug fixes can be fixed by BIOS flashes and this is why they release a lot of BIOSes when they release new hardware this is why you normally see a big long list of BIOS updates and this is because they're on top of all of the bugs that are being reported back to them so this is the reason probably why you're going to be flashing a BIOS as the motherboard starts to get some age to it they normally start tapering out and stop making uh, BIOS updates available on a regular basis the way you do when you first get your BIOS uh, released for your motherboard after the course of say a, a year or so that motherboard will start becoming older and you'll probably see less BIOS updates for that motherboard um, in such frequency as you would when it's first released onto the market so that is probably the biggest reasons why you're going to see a lot of updates at the beginning so what you need to do here is just leave the computer alone do not turn it off just let it process and go through uh, and flash your BIOS and once it's been completed it will give you the BIOS that has been uh, flashed uh, successfully. Anyway that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. Have a great day. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and 
click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.